Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to determine the web server type and sometimes the version of pretty much any website out there on the internet. We're gonna be using something called Google Chrome Developer Tools to do this, and while that's not the only way to do this, you can pretty much use any browser's you know, developer tools to find this information, or it's something like curl, but to keep it simple, we'll just focus on Chrome Dev Tools in this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get on into it, and um, I do have Google Chrome open here, and in order to access Chrome Dev Tools, you can use the keyboard shortcut if you're on a Mac, um, which is Option Command I to open them up, or you could just go to View Developer Developer Tools, and that'll pull up um, your Chrome Developer Tools. And we want to make sure we have the Network tab open here, so we can see what's going on behind the scenes when we load a web page. So let's just go to some websites where I already know what the web server is. So uh, we'll start off with wordpress.org, okay? And if we go to, once that's page loaded, you'll once that page is loaded, you'll see all the resources for that page over here on the left-hand side. And if you click on um, just the, the, the main wordpress.org uh, resource over here, you can see that the server is Nginx. You just have to look at the response header and see that the server is Nginx. And um, in this case, we don't see the version of Nginx, and that is a security vulnerability um, to actually show the version of the web server that you're running. So that's why you won't often see the web server version running or the web server version in the response header as long as you know the, the administrators of the website have taken the proper precautions to hide that information. But in this tutorial, I'll show you uh, one website that does expose that information and for good reason. So let's go ahead and look at some other websites here. Let's go to tonyteaches.tech. So this is my website. Um, and same type of thing, if we click on just the resource of the URL, uh, we see that the server is Lightspeed. I have my web server running um, right now at this point with WPX, which is, uses the Lightspeed web server. Okay, let's try Google, google.com. Google.com, click on there, and we see that the server is GWS. And I didn't know what this was at first, but GWS is Google's like proprietary web server, which nobody outside of the Google world has access to. It's something that they built in-house and um, only only Google uses. So it's, I'm sure, something super fast, super um, capable because it, it's Google in this case. So uh, continuing on, let's go to a news website, cnn.com here in the United States. And wow, there's a lot of stuff being loaded on this page. But if we go back up to the top and just go to the cnn.com resource, uh, do, 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 do. we see that their server is Varnish. So they're using, uh, we, we, if you're not familiar, Varnish is a, uh, uh, a caching server. So they have Varnish set up and then something behind Varnish. Maybe it could be Nginx, maybe it could be Apache, maybe it could be Open Lightspeed, something like that. But they have um, a caching server and you'll see that we hit their caching server here, meaning somebody has already visited this page as it looks right now, and we're just being served from that cache. So um, that's CNN.com. Got a couple more here. Let's go to Apache.org, which this is a web um, a web server website. This is the website for the web server. So I would be surprised if they're using something other than the Apache web server to serve this, and they are not. So they're using the Apache web server for their server here. And then the last one we'll check is nginx.org, which is another website for a web server. And this is the case where they actually do expose the version of their web server. So they're running Nginx, and then you'll see the slash 1.19.0. So that's the Nginx server in version 1.19.0. Now, like I said in the beginning, there is a security vulnerability with you know potential bad hackers um, knowing your version of your website because in some cases, if there is a known vulnerability for, you know, like an older version of a website, then that gives 
the hackers a way to potentially get into your website, your web server. So um, if you wanna learn how to hide the server version of your website, go ahead and check out this video here. And I got a whole nother uh, series of videos on just web servers in general. So check them out as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.